The operator of the Fukushima nuclear power facility plans to cool the reactors by filling their vessels with water. However, that process may be hampered by wastewater contaminated with highly radioactive materials. According to Tokyo Electric Power Company's blueprint for bringing the trouble facility under control, the number one and three reactor vessels will be filled with water up to the height of the nuclear fuel rods by the middle of July. This is aimed at cooling the reactors in a stable manner. TEPCO says that the water level has begun rising in the number one reactor. It says water injected to cool the reactor vaporizes out of the reactor and then turns into water after being cooled inside the reactor, or rather the container. The water level is rising gradually. A thermometer is located at the bottom of the pressure vessel. If the water level reaches it, a great change in temperature is expected. We want to keep monitoring the water level. However, if the container has been damaged, then highly radioactive water may seep out. The utility needs to check the reactor turbine building for any water leakage from the building housing the reactor, but workers cannot enter the reactor building at present. The effort to identify the source of a leak is difficult because of radioactive water inside the basement of the turbine building. Work to move contaminated water from the number two reactor is already underway. However, it's not clear when they can begin moving contaminated water from the number one reactor. TEPCO says the vessels containing the reactors are strong enough even if they're filled with water. But the Nuclear Safety and Industry Agency believes it's necessary to confirm whether the container is resistant to powerful earthquakes. Checking quake resistance is now at the final stage. They're incurable, all of them. I know that, and so does everybody else. Leakage is also possible. We are pursuing what would happen at each step. After the March 11th tsunami knocked out the plant's backup power generators, water was injected to cool the reactors and spent fuel rod pools. As a result, the presence of radioactive water is hampering efforts to restore the reactor's cooling systems. Which brings me to my final question. Who are we trying to sell this to? Answer? We are trying to sell this to the archetypal average housewife. She who fills her basket. What you have here is a 22-year-old pretty girl. What you need is a taut slob, something on foot deodorizers in a brazier. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not quite sure we can go along with that, Mr. Bagley. I mean, if you look at like the market research... I don't need to look at the market research. I've lived with 13 and a half million housewives for 15 years, and I know everything about them. She's 37 years old. She has 2.3 children, 1.6 of which will be girls. She uses 16 feet 6 inches of toilet tissue a week and fucks no more than 4.2 times a month. She has seven radiators and is worried about her weight, which is why we have her on a diet. And because we have her on a diet, we also encourage her to reward herself with the little treats. And she deserves them. Because anyone existing on 1,200 calories of artificial synthetic orange-flavored waffle a day deserves a little treat. We know it's naughty, but you do deserve it. Go on, darling, swallow a bum. And she does. And the instant she does, the guilt cuts in. So here we are again with our diet. It's a vicious but quite wonderful circle. And it adheres to only one rule. Whatever it is, sell it. And if you want to stay in advertising, by God, you'd better learn that. <laughs>